previously we have seen only how provider works but uh, in our case uh, provider does not have any state and it doesn't change so we may want to look into something like the state provider that it is another type of provider but it has a special property uh, that is the state and uh, it can change and reflect those changes now i have the same code that i had previously so a simple provider with the value 20 here a variable that we don't need that so maybe we can delete it and here i'm calling the provider with watch and i get my value and i print it here into this text region and basically here i have a, an icon button and on the up bar that it is this plus here and uh, yeah um so we can now instead of provider we want to use the state provider and another thing that we want to do for example is just to change this to 100 maybe and um yes so right now we want to uh, restart because we we are changing the type of our provider so right now we are getting uh, uh, the value 100 and it is correct the one the main breaking i could say breaking changes maybe yes um from the previous dev version the previous one that they had done some tutorials about is that for example uh, previously you had to type state right now the documentation is not updated yet so you will not find these things so there is this breaking change that previously you you had to type uh, refwatch uh, the name of your provider and the state to get the state if you type like this you would get only the state controller so the controller of the state um, but things have changed in this stable version and now you just have to call it in this way you don't have to uh, access the state property by doing like this we are getting our value and we are getting an integer so the type of our value is an integer and we basically are printing the value here now by using the state provider one thing that we may want to do is to change uh, the state we can do this by using another method of the ref object that is read so here we can read our provider as previously so we can copy the name of our provider and now we want to change our state so previously you had to type state and for example plus plus now you cannot do this anymore but you should do something like this so first you should access the state from here and you will get the controller and from the controller you can access the state and you can uh, basically update the value so yeah by doing like this you are accessing the state and you are uh, basically updating the current value for those who are uh, beginners on programming it is like with plus plus it is like if you are the, doing the current state plus one it is only it is like if you are doing like this So it is only a shortcut to don't write all this stuff and you do something like this. So as you can see, I have brought this read here and read uh, will allow us to read only the value without watching for it. One thing that you have to know that is uh, really important is that uh, with draft.read you are able uh, to read only and not to watch for changes but uh, you should avoid it as much as you can brought into the documentation it's not something that i came up with 
And basically, uh, you should only use ref.read inside callbacks. For example, here on, on press, this is a callback and you should use it uh, inside, for example, callbacks. And you should always prefer to use uh, ref.watch instead of using ref.read. One of the reasons is because, uh, for example, if you try to reset the state of your provider with ref.read, it keeps the old state instead with ref that watch create, uh, create a new state. So by doing like this, if we uh, restart, now by pressing our button, we can see our changes. The reason why we see the changes updating is simply because uh, we are watching for the value right here. So by using watch, we are watching for the value. And this is the reason why we are able to see the changes updating. So as I said, for example, here uh, you should not use ref.read and you may think that by using ref.read you optimize your code and it goes faster, but it is not the case as uh, is, is reported into the documentation. And um, there, is a, there is a way to uh, read only the provider. You, you can, for example, use only select or, or there is another way that we're going to see right now. And for select, I'm going to explain it uh, later, inshallah. And um, yeah, so um, the thing is that we can um, go here and we can uh, access the notifier. And in this way, uh, it will give us uh, the controller. So we should access the state. And now let's restart. If you press the plus button, we don't see uh, the things updating. So there are some cases that you may want to um, change the state, update the state, but not reflect uh, the things uh, uh, to not uh, render the updates. And uh, as you can see, nothing seems to happen. But here we can print a uh, ref read Can remove here the state. And now if we restart, as you can see here in the console, it prints the updated state, but it is not rendered on the screen.